because we're sisters, everyone really likes the sound of that, of how like there's two sisters on the national team. We do get a lot of attention from that, um, usually positive. Like a lot of newspapers like to write like articles on us and we actually just had um, a photographer come to our house and take a picture of our whole family and of me and Sam. Probably both of us get more attention now that we're on the same team. And I think we'll always be shown together. Like I don't, as long as we're both in the program and stuff, I don't think like It'll be often that either one of us is just like by ourselves or anything in any kind of interview, but I don't feel like I'm in her shadow or anything. I just feel like we're both on the team and we both are just trying our best. Well, we're both really competitive. That's probably like our biggest similarity, but that also can sometimes be bad because <laughs> we're both so competitive and we're competitive with each other too. I think that's a good thing too, being competitive because that's how we've been able to be on this team is that we've um, we've competed with other players but we've also competed towards each other and I think just like growing up having that competition like right in the household was really helpful. I feel like that's where we got our strength from and that's why we're here. We're really not that alike at all. I mean we like different things, we act different, um, we have different friends so we're really mostly different. It's great to experience it with her um, before when I was with the national teams I was traveling by myself and I didn't really like that just like going places by myself and it's really nice to have a family member with me like when we travel and stuff like this and we're definitely gonna we're gonna tell our kids about this we're gonna tell everyone about this that like we as sisters went through these two great World Cups together and hopefully we can go through another one when we get older too. We both just have the same goal like we both wanted to make this team and I think that's what's kept us like so close this whole time. This is something that so few people get to like be a part of and like having someone in your family get to share it with you is like amazing and I think like that more than anything has brought us closer. Well I feel very lucky that I got a chance to play in the U17 World Cup and it was like a really great experience obviously but one thing that I can definitely take from it is that every team is good and like we kind of went into it like the United States went into it kind of like you know just thinking like we're awesome like we're the best like we're gonna win but we ended up playing like very good teams and all the teams are really, really good. So that's going to be a challenge. The preparation for this World Cup compared to the preparation for the 17th World Cup has been, it has like similarities and differences. I think it's kind of the same because I'm like one of the younger players and I have to like work really hard just to like keep my spot. I mean, it's obviously the same because it's another youth world championship, but it's also really different because I think I've matured since then and I kind of realize more like what it actually means to like make the team and I realize that this is a world championship and I don't really think I like fully understood that last time um, and it's been different because I mean there's different girls and it's a whole like different team different coach different staff so um, some of both I guess. I feel like I know more of like what I'm getting myself into I mean I've grown as a player and my team has grown as players and my sister has grown as a player and um, I think that we are much more prepared and but we have a lot, of, a lot to live up to because the U20s won last time. So, I mean, we have a little bit of that on our backs, but I think we'll be fine. And I think that if we play our best, then we'll be fine. She has grown as a player since the 17th World Cup as just like an attacking force. Like she's just so dangerous around the goal and even like not around the goal, like she can just dribble by people like no one I've ever seen. And she's just so like technically good. She's matured like emotionally and she understands the game so much better and she watches so many more games at home on TV and she just is like learning so much faster and I think she's just more mature. Sam's a great player. She's, um, she has a lot of great strengths. She still has a lot to learn, but so do I. We both used to be little, but she grew and she had to change her game because she's tall. I think that that's something that I can learn from her is that like I can use my height better, I think. I can like become a strong header, I can become more dominant in the air. So I, I really respect that part about her game. Just like her attitude towards the game, like she never gets like frazzled or nervous or like anxious or anything. And that's like one of my problems is I get like nervous. Um, so I guess just like being calm and not letting like outward things affect me. I've seen her confidence grow a lot. She's still really young. She's, I mean, she was young on the U17s, but she's even younger on this one because she's only 17 she's about to turn 18 though but she's still really young and of course like her confidence 
um, level is probably lower than everyone else because everyone's older than her. I still have definitely seen her grow in that and I try, I try hard to like give her that confidence, but I also try not to just be like, oh, like poor you, like you're younger. I try to like toughen her up a little bit and I know sometimes she doesn't like that, but that's really what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to help her face the real world. It's great to have her on the team and I'm looking forward to going through this with her again.